I like the way you guys are having the dialogue here. What about a, uh, I like the way you're discussing this, working independently. Yeah. All right, so take, like, let's take a couple more minutes. Think about what you get. There's no right or wrong answer, like I said. The more you get, the better, but we have time to do this later as well. Hey, Scott. Do you want me to press it? Oh, I got it. Okay. And also, I'm thinking if anybody needs help thinking about suggestions, I mean, I th if I'm going to think about fractions as one percent, I'm going to think about going to the grocery store. I'm going to think about looking at the newspaper for specific information. I'm going to think about, um, you know, uh, telling time, my daily schedule, uh, that kind of stuff. All right, put car in my uh, gas in my car. I don't put car in my gas, but I do put <laughs> gas in my car. Those are the kind of things I'm going to think about. So let's work for about maybe one minute more, and then we're going to move on to a little fun activity I have where we're going to think about how these things are used in everyday life. So as you're finishing up here, when you think you've uh, got your last... But that's not every day, but also... Think of it when you think you've got your last uh, example. Go ahead and put those in your binder and set your binder off to the side, okay? Yeah. If you guys could go ahead and put those in your binder and set your binder off to the side. Oh, well, we didn't get this one. Grace in the corner had a question. Grace? Yes. No, you don't have to turn these in. You need to keep them in your binder, okay? Because if you don't turn them in because there's no right or wrong answer and they're going to be a resource for you guys to use. That's right. Yep, math section because we will be using these throughout our unit. I'm going to pass out three little flags to everybody. Okay, right. No, that's not one. That's not one. That's one. We're going to let those freak flags fly. We're going to let our math freak flags fly. Because <laughs> if you guys understand mathematicians like Zevin and I, we are freaks. Yep. Lots of mathematics. All right, everybody grab. Not grab. Everybody make sure you get one. Hey, hey Logan. Could you help Scott out and pass out the decimal ones too? Just because I have to do so we can use them again. Yeah, these are tools, not toys, kiddos. Math tools, not toys. They could be, but we're going to use them as tools. We're going to use them as tools. Okay, let's keep the volume down, please. I know it's exciting having your free flags. So let's kind of keep the volume down, okay? All right, so here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show you an example where we have our little flags, okay? We have our friendly flags. And I am going to stand up here in the Scott-like way, and I am going to say, uh, if I was going to think about how... Uh, to express money, which one of these languages would I use? And I'm going to put up a fraction. Why would I put up a fraction for expressing money? Yes. Because when you buy something, say something's uh, 99 cents, or let's just say it's exactly one dollar. Technically, it's going to be a dollar and seven cents. Well, you're getting, you're kind of that. But think about 25 cents. What's another word for 25 cents? Blue. A quarter. A quarter. Is that a fraction? Yes. yes. What about a half a dollar? Is that a fraction? Yes. Yeah. What about three quarters of a dollar? How much is that? 75 cents. 75 cents. So we use fractions in money all the time, don't we? I right? agree. All right? Okay, but what else do we use? And, and decimals, very well. De I mean, That's the monetary system dollar. is definitely based on. Uh, so you, you may have one right answer, you may have two right answers, or you may have three right answers, and I don't have my... How's this? You may have three right now. <laughs> Which is the freakiest flag? This one. Uh, the one right. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go through, put those down on the ground, put them down on the table, I mean, until you are ready to raise your flag, and I'll go around the room to make sure everybody's on the same page. Okay, if I was going to measure humidity for a weather forecast, what would I measure that in? Which language? Humidity. It is... Let's see those flags, everybody. 
Look around the room if you need help. Look around the room if you need help. Okay. I see percents, and, I, and that's exactly right. Today it's going to be 99% humidity in oh, Bloomington, yeah. Indiana, and you are all going to suffer. <laughs> you will all suffer. Okay. Refocus. If I am going to slice up a piece of pizza for pizza day, what am I going to do that with? Yes. Branches. All right. All right. If I am going to look up a book in the library, how am I going to look that up? Not by alphabetical order, but by decimal. When I was a kid, we had we used the Dewey Decimal System, and I had to actually look up things in a card catalog by alphabetical order. So yes, the Dewey Decimal System is what's used in the library. Very good. If I was going to uh, talk about populations of race, culture, language speakers, what would I use? Oh, no. I like it. I'm seeing percents. I'm seeing percents. Right. Uh, I saw two Indiana flags here. What? Did you have two flags? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jamila, why why do you have two flags? I don't know. Well, think about it. Half, uh, half is a fraction. Half the population is African American. Excellent. That's so you're right. You are exactly right. right. Yeah. It, it can be expressed in two different languages. Very good. Um, okay. So how would you express it with a decimal? Oh wait. What would you use uh, for demographics? What would you use a decimal for? Um. Actually, never mind. I don't understand. Okay. I mean, oh, it, they, it probably could totally be used as a decimal yeah. as well. I don't care about How about length of time of sporting events? Like a sporting event. Which, how would how would you what would, what math expression would you use for sporting event? Ooh. Think about okay. Um, Let's see. In basketball, they play in four different periods, which could also be called something else. Oh. Yeah. A quarter. What do they play football in? They can play in quarter. So that they use halves, right? So fractions. How would how would a sporting events the time length of a sporting event be a decimal? Does anybody? Hmm. You guys that are putting decimals up, where are you going with that? Uh, let's see. Um. Yes. Um. Uh, since like more often they display, like if you're watching on TV, often they display how much time is left, and they often use decimal points where it gets to like the fraction. Okay, all right. So like you're talking about uh, tiny uh, race or something like that, and they use decimal points when it comes to the fraction of uh, the yes, hundreds of a second. Very good. Okay. All right. How about the composition of soil? Ooh. I like percents. I'm seeing percents. I like percents. Uh, I like fractions because yeah. soil is made up of one half organic material, one quarter air, one quarter water. So I like fractions. And you could also probably represent the composition of soil as in a decimal as well. So very good. Okay, we're getting this. Barometric pressure in a hurricane. Ooh. I think it's called. There's, I think, okay, but the correct answer is in its name. I think it's called decibars. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. All right. Sure it is. So it's called decibars. So it should be pretty much one language and one language only. Decibars. Remember. Uh, hello. Everybody should be have decimal, right? Uh, the barometric pressure mm -hmm. measured with decimals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most of weather, measure, uh, most of weather is measured as a percentage, but barometric pressure is definitely a decimal. How about batting average in baseball? Oh yeah. Exactly right. No way. I don't know about this. Yeah, some sports ball. Okay. Uh, <laughs> usually, like, like if I was hitting in baseball, my batting average would be something like this, right there, right? Now, if Zach was good. hitting against me, his would be something like this. Right uh, there. Uh, what is that right there? <laughs> what is that right there? Usually, usually it's expressed as a decimal, all right, but it can be uh, expressed as a percentage as well. Okay, all right. Let me check the time here. Yes. Would you say that could also be expressed as a fraction with the number of hits per? Yes, it could definitely be a yes. Or the number of players that. I guess the point is, guys, that you can use you can use all these languages to express numbers to mean the same thing. Okay, that's the general point. So why don't we, uh, Logan, if you could collect those and put them back there for me.